Good evening, welcome back again. This week we're at home to Levante in the Copa del Rey. Hopefully we can get through to the next round. If you watched the last video, you would have seen some transfer signings, some exciting ones. Let's jump into the team lineup to see if they may start today. Really good news is that the new signings, and if you haven't seen, these are them. Got Kosanu, who's a centre-back. Look at his uh, acceleration, his physical stats are amazing. Some of the actual technical side he needs to improve, like the passing, things like that. But as an out-and-out -out centre-back, he's strong, he's quick. I think he's going to be some player. And then Mudrik, I'm sure many people will know him. Now his stats won't be as strong as they are in real life. I checked him before I actually started the Master League and he hadn't been edited. I actually had to edit how he looks. Now that profile picture is not how he looks actually in the game. I've tried to edit as best as I can to make it look like him. You can see his speed and acceleration are great, but his other stats are probably nowhere near as what they would be if it was, say, eFootball or something like that, especially with his move to Chelsea. But yeah, we're just going to keep the squad as, as is. That is our preferred starting eleven. We've got the youngster, Teixeira, as the left-back who's just been promoted. Other than that, it's the pretty much the standard lineup, but with the two new boys. And Arkas missing out today. He's been a, you know, as the default players go, he's been a real sort of star for us dependable playing out on that left wing which is by no means his favorite position really should be either second striker or attacking midfielder but thinking about it i think us buying mudrick not only improves that area but it frees us to have arcas playing somewhere in the center of midfield you know that attack midfield or as an option up front which he has played before it gives us a little bit of freedom for retaining the squad even more which we're certainly going to need to do. And our squad isn't that big now. After we've made quite a few sales and changes. Yeah, we've had some really good matches recently as well. Don't want to get knocked out of the cup after uh, playing so well in the league recently. Oh, here's Vieira. Through to Mudrik, first chance. Oh my, wait. Oh... Uh, second touch is to fire it in the back of the net it's, first, it's second ever touch for the club lovely ball by Perez de Vieira but that ball but that first touch as well volleyed in wow what a debut yep again using that first touch to pop the ball up a little bit is a uh, it's a great trick if you can get it right in pairs 2021. And if you're not sure how to do it, 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 you can't do it every time exactly the same, but it's normally when you're about to receive the ball, I normally try and sort of double tap the sprint button just before I get it. And it can make you lose control a little bit as well. So you've got to be mindful not to overuse it and that um, you know you may lose the ball because of it sometimes. Here's Mudrik again, and it's two. Oh my word, debut boy. See, I have changed his looks though. So he's got his uh, blonde, it doesn't quite look like it does in real life, but I tried the best I could. Nice one too with Xerxy, just bends it around the keeper. Wow, what a start. And like I say, Arcas has been brilliant, but he's not that sort of tricky winger and he's been very dependable. Like I say, he's put in some good performances, but you can see already Mudrik's, uh, he's making such a difference. Because we heavily rely on the right hand side, normally, for attack and threat, we rely on um, well, the likes of Vieira, who sort of plays more towards the right-hand side in the centre. And you've got the likes of... Carlos Perez here, on the right, who's been getting us plenty of goals and assists from that position. Vieira. Oof. He wants to get in the action as well.
Very nice. Just wide. And although we've been, it's not like we've let in loads of goals, but one area we have been lacking is strength in defence, like pure physical strength. And Costner was going to provide us that. Now, you've still got then the other three players, you know, the other centre back and the, the two wing backs. And it's slightly different in defence than attack. You know, if you've got one outstanding player in attack, they can, they can do something themselves. They can go on a run they can make a great pass they can have a 20 yard shot and score and make that difference in defense it's one player can play really well but if one player is poor or makes a lapse in judgment or is not strong enough on the ball you know that can cost you so you really need a a solid back four which we haven't got yet but i think cost is going to make a difference bringing in tech share at left back he needs to improve over time, and he will. But he could be one for the future. Well, he will be one for the future. And I think that's certainly the area we'll be looking to improve is another centre-back at some stage. And a right-back. Left-back, I think, we might be, be good with, with Tech Shara. It w well, would like would like one, you know, a better one, but um, it wouldn't be on the priorities. Nice work there. Here's Herrera. Oof. Thought about the pass, but the defenders just weren't closing me down. Why not have a pop when you're already tuning up? The keeper probably had it covered. Yeah, but up. I mean, it goes without saying, music's been fantastic. Not the best ball there. Ooh. Defender should have really just let that go out. Nicely done by Herrera. That's a poor. It wasn't a pass, it's Xerxes suddenly decided to uh, run forward as I was playing the ball into his feet. Bit of miscommunication. Xerxes, Perez, Xerxes again, loses out. Nicely done there. Worked a way out of a tight spot. Ah, no, Herrera was never going to get there. Thought I was going to go, if I'm honest. Nice tackle. Ooh, that was poor. Good tackle by Kavazovic. And there it is, half time. Absolutely brilliant start from Mudrik. Looking at the stats, 65% possession. Only four shots with two in target, but we scored those two. Yeah, it's going to be tricky to manage that salary budget, which I knew because it was the same in 2020. And um, I, I do think they've managed it badly. They should have changed that for... 2021 or tweaked it slightly it's that it that's always the bottleneck you can have lots of transfer budget and you just got no salary budget and for some reason and they did have it on other games two seconds mudrick oh wide 
chance for a hat trick there. But in other versions, I can't remember which years, but you you did have a sliding scale. So if you had, you know, a hundred million in the transfer budget and hardly any salary left, there was a sliding scale where you could decrease your transfer to increase your salary, or vice versa. And it was great because you weren't gaining money; it was just being sort of transferred from one to the other, um, which is more realistic because you've got an overall budget. Zerxi now. Now Mudrick. Back to Zerxi. Mudrick. Oof, good save. Deflected. The keeper managed to block it. I thought Fabio Vieira was going to be in there. Nicely dealt with. And again. Nice. Yeah, but to me that... that Salary budget's one of the, the big downsides of Master League. And I wish they would... Uh, they could have fixed it with a patch or anything. And they never did. And there are tips and tricks around it, but you do get to a stage where you've used all your tricks and trips and you, you can't really do much more to, to improve the situation apart from waiting... For it to just naturally increase over time. I thought that was going to be a foul, but it wasn't. Nice tackle. Mudrick. And there it is. It's the hat trick. Absolutely brilliant. It's pretty much paid for his transfer fee already in one game. Nice ball in. First touch was there. Uh, just took it away from the defender. And a lovely finish. Brilliant. We are going to make some changes. So we're going to bring on Bcher for Fabio Vieira, Arcas for Herrera, and we're going to take the hat-trick here off for Harrington on the left there. And like I say, now we can bring in Arcas in a sort of more central role, which he's probably better at. You know, he can play centre midfield pretty competently. Attack midfield is probably his best spot. Second strike is great. He has played up front a few times for us and played really, really well. And he's done a job on that left wing, but like I say, he's not really built for that. He's built for the more sort of centralised role. Oh, nice ball. Oh, Carlos Perez nearly in there. Nice tackle. Ah, white. You know, so far he's been getting forward in this game. I think he had the assist for... Was it the second goal? No, the third goal. Yeah, he's bombing on a bit. Yeah, but Levante, who... Or one of our rivals, you know, they're third in the league, I think. And I thought in the Copa del Rey they might push us again. And they just haven't really done anything in this game. Well, that was poor from Hedge. Oh, a lovely tackle from Cosinu. See, that's what I mean. He's lost, lost the ball, unfortunately, deflected off the, the player. But you can see his. Uh, his strength on the ball is so much better than any of the other players we've got in defence. Just buy him share that. Arcas. Ah, straight at the keeper. The keeper fired it at the, uh, this player there. 
Nicely done. Not so nicely done. Oh. Sorry for the noises in the background there. Oh, Zexy on the charge. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a finish that was. Wow, that came from nothing. Counter attack and um, the ball by Perez, it was just fired into him, but nice face touch and just leathered it in the back of the net. Yeah, pure power on that near post. Oh, Harrington with so much space. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And uh, Arkas getting in on the action. He started the move and he got on the end of it. He's so good in that centre position. Yeah, Harrington nicely played back. And a cool finish. I think Mudrik has really made could make a massive difference to this team. Like I say, not just for his contribution, which, you know, he's got a hat trick today. Can't ask for any more than that. But it's freeing up the likes of Arcas to play in their more natural positions. It's almost like we've got a new player in Arcas now. We've got more depth in midfield. More quality. Oh, Xerxes in again. And again he scored. <laughs> wow. Houghton and Xerxes linking up again and it's 6-0. An absolute demolition job. Defence is all over the shop. There's just masses of space. And Xerxes just had all the time. Don't know what the keeper was doing. I think he was sort of caught between staying on his line and coming out. I don't know who that, that uh, player was there. But he was just walking back. For Levante. Very impressive though. Yeah, sorry about the noise. I have to try and put myself on me, but I can't do that uh, the whole time. <laughs> Just people walking past. It's quite noisy where I live when there's uh, people on the streets. Arcas, oh, but there it is, six 0 an absolutely outstanding performance. Surely Mudrik's going to be man of the match, but Zirkzee getting a, a brace as well. Stats why sixty three percent possession. 14 shots with A on target. They had one shot on target. I can't even remember that. Pass wise, 130 to 80. Pretty comprehensive. And there we go, an 8.5 for Mudrik. We did see a, a 9 for Xerxes recently, which is the highest rating I've seen in a long time. 8.5 is still right up there. You know, normally for a really, really good performance, you're looking at 7.5 and, and 8. Uh, if you get an 8.5 and, and 9, that's um, pairs wise, that's fantastic. Pierre didn't manage to really get in the ball and I think he gave it away once or twice. Houghton got two assists so maybe he should have got more than a six and a half. Arcas getting a goal but can't argue with those ratings. And the big news, looking at the draw, if I've got it right, it looks like we're playing Real Madrid in the next round. It's going to be massive. Really pleased with that game. Clearly Mudrik getting the hat-trick was obviously a, a fantastic thing on his debut. Cossonou played well although he wasn't that troubled. All round great performance, really happy with Arcas being freed up a little bit to play in more central areas. Okay, he came off the bench that time, but he's probably going to start a few games as well. 
Our next match is at home to Las Palmas. Hopefully that'll be another victory. We'll see how the team get on. One thing we're going to have to look at is potentially if we do have enough salary budget to get one or two youth players for now. It's probably not going to be in January. It's going to be February or March that we can get those in just to fill out the squad a little bit more. We do need a second keeper. That is a little bit of a worry. But I hope you can join me next time for that home match. Should be a good one. Really appreciate you guys' support on the channel. Leave a like, drop a comment down below and think about subscribing if you want to keep up to date with the channel. But yeah, just thank you very much again and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.